just a, a sort of related question on a different topic. The provision or the decision to provide anti-personnel mines to Ukraine, uh, can you say, um, first, what type of anti-personnel mines, what makes you so confident that they'll be used correctly? And second, given the position of the administration um, essentially two years ago, does this require a presidential waiver or, or some step there to okay the export of these? So in terms of how the Ukrainians em employ these mines on the battlefield, um, the Ukrainians have given us their assurances that they are going to uh, only use them in Ukraine. Um, we are providing a uh, different variant of the type of mines. I'm just not going to get into more details than that. Um, I think it's important to note that the reason why we are providing these APLs is because as the battlefield has changed and the fight has evolved over time, so have we, so have our support. Um, and I think you saw the secretary speak to this um, on his travel, but um, Russia has changed their tactics. So they're not leading with their mechanized forces, they're leading with dismounted forces. And so because of that, we feel that these APLs and how they will be able to be used on the battlefield will be helpful to Ukraine. Um, in terms of um, your uh, second question on if there needs to be something, a, a type of waiver, I'd, I'd refer you to the White House to speak to that. Patrice. Um, on this sort of scale of escalation, where do you see the IRBM? It's obviously not an ICBM, but um, you know, a, a level of concern and uh, where, is, where is this sort of lie, this particular missile? So this was a new um, type of lethal capability that was employed on the battlefield. Um, so that's certainly of concern to us. Um, and we're gonna, you know, I don't have a, a, an assessment of its impacts right now, um, but it's something that of course we're concerned by, um, but what's been escalatory in this war is the fact that Russia decided to turn to a foreign country and bring those, uh, you know, DPRK soldiers into the fight. Um, so we're gonna continue to monitor what we're focused on is supporting Ukraine and arming Ukraine with what it needs. Following up on Lita's question, uh, President Putin talk, sort of, you know, uh, said that actually the U.S. was escalating by giving, um, uh, allowing Ukraine to hit inside Russia with the attack arms, and that there was a, a possibility of the conflict becoming more global. If you could just sort of re respond to that, his sort of, um, you know, very clear sort of uh, accusation that it was the United States' fault that it was, uh, you know, becoming more escalatory. Yeah, I think uh, it's pretty clear and, and, and couldn't be more black and white in what's escalatory here. Uh, Russia invaded its sovereign neighbor. We can go back two years, continue to look at the facts. Uh, we've been very clear publicly and privately to Russia that we're going to support Ukraine um, because another sovereign country doing that to its neighbor should not go unchecked. And the United States our partners and allies around the world stand for an international rules-based order, and that's what brings us together at the table, like-minded values and principles. So we're going to support Ukraine as long as it takes, and we've been pretty clear about that from the beginning. Um, again, Putin has the decision and the authority to end this war today. Um, he continues to escalate. He continues to take provocative actions like you just saw um, with this uh, uh, recent IRBM that was launched um, into Ukraine. Uh, the bringing in of DPRK soldiers into the fight, each time these actions are more escalatory, simply what the United States is doing and our 50 or so partners and allies around the world is giving Ukraine what it needs to be in the fight. Um, and I also think it's important to remember that every single day, Russia is expending you know, approximately 1,200 casualties on the battlefield. Um, Ukraine has proven uh, itself time and again, and we're we're you know very proud to stand with them in this fight. Body.